day 40. Okay. Anton's back. We didn't get raided. Whew. Right, let's just get everybody fed. Just so fed. Can I go with you next time? Uh, no. I was shitting a brick. So, no, you can't go. Right, Christo can go to bed. Anton, finish eating. Go to bed. Girl, she's tell me being sad. Eat. Okay, that's good. Right. And then I'm literally just going to skip the day because I haven't got anything else to do. Because the two men are in bed. And yeah, so let's end the day. The war is over. You survived. Oh yeah. I did it. Let's have a look at the pictures. We got meds. Okay. Helping each other. Yeah. Oh, it's a story of what I did. You know, I, I gave him medication to help his, his, his dear old dad. Therefore, buried alive. Okay. Yeah, Christo helped them out of the building, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, somebody wounded our little girl. She's just a child. Oh dear, what else? Oh dear, yeah. Poor girl, sorry. That poor girl is so... Yeah, she's fe feeling lonely. Poor girl. It's, it's tricky though, the adults are busy. What's going on here? Anton was seeking shelter, yeah. That's when Anton came on day eight. What else? There's a big bag of food there. Tough decision. Marco robbed somebody. Yes, he did. He robbed somebody. Okay, what have we got? Plea for help. Okay. Yeah, we helped with the with the boarding up of windows. Oh dear. It had to remind me, didn't it? Marco died. I'm so sad. Rip Marco. Day forty. Ceasefire. The long-awaited ceasefire finally came into force, eventually putting an end to the fighting in Porygon. Those who managed to survive the war in Grasnavia would never forget it. We did it, guys. We did it. Yes. So, this has been This War of Mine, The Little Ones, and I've been Coily. I hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you again real soon.